Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad, and welcome back to another beautiful day on the Gubernation Gun Range. It's actually halfway decent temperature outside. Hopefully, I won't be sweating my butt off, but things can change real quick down here. Today, we're going to be looking at five different types of a segmented 22 LR ammo, and we're going to try and figure out what's the shortest length of barrel we can use and still get these rounds to expand, blow up, and make a beautiful little wound track or whatever special thing you're supposed to do. Let's get started. These are the five different types of ammo we're going to be using from slowest to fastest. We've got CCI's Quiet 22 segmented, and then we've got the Subsonic segmented. Here is the Mini Mag segmented, and then we've got Browning to mix things up with their Hyper Velocity segmented ammo. And finally, the super fast quick shock. And here is our test medium. This is the ballistic modeling clay. I've got five of these little cubes that we're going to shoot, one for each type of bullet. And here are the firearms we're going to be using. For the shortest barrel, we've got the Heritage Rough Rider. It's got about a two inch barrel there, maybe a little bit shy of two inches. And then we've got the Taurus TX22 with a four inch barrel. And finally, We've got the Ruger yep. Charger 1022, and it has a 9-inch barrel. Alrighty, we've got our little ballistic modeling clay target set up over there. I'm going to start out with the Ruger Charger, because it has the longest barrel. At 9 inches, you're getting pretty close to full speed with the 22 LR. That's about the length you need to burn the powder inside. So, if these bullets don't expand with the 9-incher, then they're probably not going to expand at the smaller levels. So we'll see which ones expand, we'll eliminate the ones that don't, and then we'll move down one more barrel size. Let's start with our charger. CCI quiet. Standard velocity. Mini mag next. Browning. Finally, we've got the super fast quick shock. Here we go. All right, let's check them out. Okay, going from the fastest, I think it's pretty easy to see that the quick shock definitely segmented. I can even see little pieces of the uh, segments poking up there. The browning as well. I think we've got pretty obvious evidence of segmentation. Mini mag. Yep, definitely segmented. Standard velocity and quiet though, we're gonna have to open them up and find out. Let me do that real quick. All right, the subsonic, I think it definitely expanded. I can see one, two, and three holes there. So we got segmentation out of the subsonic ammo. And even the quiet, I think it did actually segment. One, two, and then uh, there's our third. So out of the nine inch barrel, we have 100% success. Let's move it down to four inches. Well, I was wrong about the heat. I am already getting drenched in sweat. So let's move on to the Taurus TX-22, our four-inch barrel. We're going to load her up with our segmented ammo. And... Uh -oh. Okay, looks like our first round of CCI Quiet didn't want to load. We got a new one in there. There she goes. She's loaded up. Let's go down the line again. See how they do. CCI Quiet is first. Let's go on the subsonic. Alright. Next is a mini mag. Browning. Oops. And then quick shock. Oh, Let's see how they did. Okay, at the fastest we have got the quick shock, and I think it's pretty obvious again that it did segment it. Blew out a hole at the top. Next up is the browning entry here, and then blew out the back entirely. Definitely segmented. Here's some pieces there. Yep, we got good segmentation there. And then we got the mini mag, and I can see the segmentation, but I'll open it up just to show you guys. And we got a question mark on our subsonic and the quiet. So let's open up those three and see how we did. I'm actually kind of surprised by these results, but let's go through them from the fastest. Mini mag segmented definitely expanded 
and segmented. We can see those three separate tracks right there. The subsonic here, again, definitely segmented. Look at those nice three tracks right there. That blew it bullet blew apart. Blah 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 blah. And then our quiet, I think we actually did get some segmentation here. We've got one track down there, another going off to the side there, and then finally there's our third one. So even out of a four inch barrel, everything's still segmenting. I did not expect that. I thought for sure we'd have things dropping out. Well, let's shorten it up all the way down to two inches and see what happens. Okay, our last uh, firearm of the day is the Heritage Rough Rider with our tiny little barrel there. And um, if these still manage to segment, even out of this tiny little thing, I am going to be serious impressed. Did you guys expect it to get this far? I really, I really didn't. I thought we'd only be dealing with the fast. Anyways, let's see what happens. Uh, we'll start out with the quiet again and go all the way up to the quick shot. Well, take a look at all that powder on every single one of these shots. That tiny little barrel sure isn't very efficient. Now, I can tell by looking in here that our quick shock did segment, but it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to open up every single one of these and we'll take a peek at them. Color me impressed. I think we got 100% segmentation, even out of the 2-inch barrel. Let's take a look at each one of them though. Here is the quick shock and obviously it did segment. We got nice big old holes there going three different ways. Next up is the browning and not as dramatic but I can see one, two, three down there and then one hole out the back. The mini mag got one hole out the back and then you got one hole back here so it broke into at least two pieces. And the subsonic actually did a pretty good job. Broke up real good. You can see the pieces in there. One went out the back. One went out the side there. But finally, the CCI Quiet, who I did not have any faith in at all, proved me wrong. We got one piece right there. Got another piece right there. And then we got another one that went off to the side here. I'm actually pretty stunned. I did not expect this, but I am very impressed. And for those of you that are curious what these rounds look like after they break apart, this is the CCI Quiet. And you can see it's these nice long kind of petals that break off. And then here is the Subsonic. And again, kind of got those nice long petals that break off. But once we get into the higher velocities, this is the Mini Mag. And you can see they break up a lot more. We even caught a base on one of these. But the Browning as well broke up into little pieces and quick shock. Nice little pieces as well. Well, those results were uh, definitely a surprise to me, but a good surprise. I was really expecting that we'd uh, winnow down our bullets to maybe two or three by the time we got down to the uh, two inch Heritage Rough Rider, but all five survived. It's really neat what uh, modern bullet technology can do. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you next time.